Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to add a color swatch for our dawn team. This is what you're adding here. You can add a color or an image and then the color value should be at this bottom area. And if you don't have a color nor an image for your color swatch, it's going to have a, a placeholder like this. You can still have an option to change it from radio buttons or buttons to a drop down. So you go to variant picker. From button, you can change it to drop down and then click save and it should work the same. I'm going to show you that it does work. So when I say pearl pink and then I'm going to say medium here, the card should say pearl pink medium. So that is working. And also you can change the size and then the shape of the color swatch. Right here, I have three viewport widths. VW stands for viewport, which means that it's a percentage of the width of the screen. What is the difference between 3% and then the three viewport width? Well, the 3% only gonna apply to the container. So it's a 3% of the container, which when we say three uh, viewport width, it's the 3% of the screen. Uh, you can use percentage here and also a pixels or a rem. For me, I just like to use the viewport width because when you go back to your team editor, when you change it to mobile view, so it adjusts to the screen. You can also change the shape. I have an option for round, square, rectangle, and round edge. Right now we're using the round edge. And also I want you guys to put your option name. Sometimes people use a color with um, that spells out C-O-L-O-U-R. And some people would also have their own language that goes with the color. So I want you guys to put the option name here if you're not going with color and then i also provided the images on the website on what it looks like when it's round square rectangle and round edge and i want you guys to check on that there are several ways to add color swatch on your website you can add it as a meta field but i find my way not so tedious and it's convenient to put all of the value of colors and images in one area i call it a color bank and just have the javascript pitch that or get that value and apply it to your website then just going every product and put all your uh, your colors so to start with this you have to go to your online store so let's go to our online store and in our online store, we're going to click teams and we're not going to edit the current team. But if you do want to edit that, you just have to click actions and then duplicate the team and then edit the duplicated team. But for me, I'm going to edit the Dawn team that I just created here. We're going to go to click actions and then edit code. And I'm just going to expand our screen right here by clicking this button. And then we're looking for a snippet folder. So close the layout folder and the template folder. So we're going to open the snippets and add a new snippet. And this one I'm going to call color swatch and then create snippet. Now we're going to go to the website and then copy this first code. And then we're going to place it here. So I know when you copy on my website, it's not uh, formatted, but the way to fix it is to highlight the whole thing. So control A to highlight and then just click shift tab. So that should fix it and then click save. So next we have two options to continue. If you want to have this snippet appears to all of your products, then just skip these steps. But if you want this to only appear on a certain products, then we have to duplicate our product section and also our product template. So let's do that. We're going to go to a section folder and then add a new section. And this one, I'm just going to call product swatch and then create a section. And then we're going to open the main product liquid. So we're just going to copy this one, control C to copy and then paste it to our product dash watch liquid. And then we're going to delete this code and control V to paste the code here and click save. Now we're going to go to our product template. So just close the section here and then we're going to open the template and we're going to add a new template 
and it's going to be a product uh, choose product here and make sure it's a jason and then this one i'm just gonna put swatch template so swatch template and then create the template and then in this one we're gonna copy the product that json so open that so let's copy this one and then we're gonna paste the code in our swatch dash template so control a to highlight and control v to paste now we're gonna change the type of the section we're gonna change it to product dash swatch so let's change that and then click save and i believe um, that's it here so we're just gonna close this one so in the product dash swatch we're gonna find the variant picker so you control f and then let's say variant underscore picker okay so we have it here and then we're gonna go all the way down to find our buy button so when buy buttons in between the variant picker and the buy buttons, we're going to delete the code. So highlight the code before the buy buttons and then see the highlighted um, variant picker. We're going to stop there and delete this code and we're going to go back to our website and then copy this code right here. So control V to paste and I'm just going to fix this one and click save. And the next thing to do is to add our settings um, schema. So we're gonna go close this one and then go to our config folder. And then we're gonna open the settings underscore schema. So this is the settings for your team. We're gonna go back to our website again. And then we're gonna copy this code. And then all the way down, we're gonna paste the code right here. So I'm just gonna click enter to so separate before the bracket so we're gonna control v to paste and then i'm just gonna use the trick again um, highlight the code and then uh, click shift tab so make sure you have a comma and um, the closing bracket and then the opening bracket so that's good and then click save and that's it for editing the code what's left to do is to add our images and color we have to go to customize team so right click on that one and open a new window and then we're going to open the team settings on the left bottom corner and you should have the swatch color so click on that one and there's a pre-filled code i put it in there so you have a format to copy so for the color, replace the, the space with a dash or a hyphen. And then also a colon before the value. So in between the value, so color name, then colon, then value. And then you separate all your codes with the comma. So make sure you do that. It doesn't matter if you have uppercase or lowercase, as long as you make sure if it's a two word color, the space is being replaced by a hyphen. And then I do recommend using a hex color. So I already have my colors um, figured out. So let's go to my colors. So I have my colors like this. And then I intentionally made an error here on keeping the space. And also instead of putting comma, I put a colon here. So I'm going to tell you how we're going to figure it out and then able to fix it. So this is my colors and I'm just going to control A and then control C to copy. And let's go back to our website. And then I'm just gonna replace this default code. And then that's it and click save. Now for the image, we're gonna go back to our online store. So from here, we're done with our code editor. So we're gonna go to our Shopify admin. So we're gonna go back all the way until you see these settings right here. Let's try to go out here. If you have a product and you don't have an image corresponds to it. So let's just open a product right here. I'm just gonna click a preview on this one and then I'm gonna look for a product. And then on this one, I'm just gonna add a color pink. So this pink color. 
to add a color image we need the snipping tool to get this part you can also do a print screen and i know mac has its own um snipping tool as well so in the search bar so you open your snipping tool and then uh, click new and then highlight or uh, choose the area that you want to snip and then click file and save as and it directly goes to my color folder i'm gonna name this one pink since my variant name here is pink so let's do pink and then click save and we can also try heather pink so let's do heather pink so snipping tool and then new and click the file and save as i'm gonna call it heather pink since that's our variant so heather dash pink and then that's it and then click save so now we're gonna go to our colors folder so on our colors i'm gonna close this one on our colors we're gonna open it so this is all the colors that we have here so we added the uh, heather pink and the pink right you can open a word or a post it but for me i'm just going to use notepad and in here to show the the file extension you have to go to view and make sure this file name extension is checked if it's not checked it's well gonna appear like this but for me i just want my um, file name extension for this tutorial to get the name for our uh, image we're gonna right click and rename Control c to copy and then we're gonna Control v to paste here and make sure it's a jpeg so i'm just gonna add jpeg and then comma and next i'm gonna have pink so right click rename Control c and then Control v here and then make sure it's a jpeg so jpeg and then you can put a comma and add some more but um, i already have my color saved in here so my images and i'm just gonna add this heather pink so Control x and then Control v to paste here so make sure your color images have no space and also if it's a two or a three name color you have to separate or replace the space with a hyphen and then make sure you put a dot not a comma and then the file extension then a comma to separate the whole value so we're gonna highlight this one Control c and then we're gonna go to our team editor right here uh, we're gonna replace this default code and Control v to paste now we're gonna save all those pictures in our shopify server so to do that, we're going to go back to our Shopify admin and then click settings. And then we're going to open files. There are files that are being fetched from your Shopify server. It does take a while or maybe one or two seconds to fetch that file. So it's not saved on your team for this one. So to fetch the file from the Shopify server, you have to use the liquid code. So right now we're gonna upload our images. So I just added two, so I'm gonna upload two. So click upload files and find the folder that you have on the color save. And then you can just highlight everything and then click open and it will open everything. Um, for me, I'm just gonna open, um, so I have, heather coral open already so i'm just gonna click that i'm gonna show you what happens if it's a duplicated image so that one and then i have the heather uh pink and then the heather pink so i'm just gonna click that one and then this one so open and then it takes a, a while this is what i'm talking about it takes a while for the server to put it in so now we have two heather dash coral what it Shopify does is it creates a new um, file name for it. It added a file name. So you will know that you already have a duplicated name if you have this file name, the long ones. So for me, I'm just going to delete this and delete file. And then that's it to upload the files. Very easy in just one place.
So we're done in here. What we need to do is to add our product template to a certain product. So we're going to go out from here by clicking this X and we're going to go to our products. And I'm just going to find that shirt. So this one. So right now, if you go all the way down and you will not see the product dash color because we didn't put it as a live team. So the things on the left side only applies to the current team or the live team. So let's go back to our online store and we're gonna publish the Dawn team. So publish, now we're good. And then we're gonna go back to products again and then we're gonna go to our shirts and then we're gonna go all the way down to online store and then the default product it should say swatch template right here so this is what we're looking for so make sure you refresh to show the current team that we have and then click save and i'm gonna go add another product right here so the bracelet because i want you to show something so we're gonna go all the way down again and then we're gonna add the swatch template and then click save then we're gonna go to our team editor Let's find the bracelet first. Every uh, um, color is already in here. So let's see. So this one is blank. When it's blank, it means there's an image, but it's not working. So to fix that, we're going to go right click and click inspect. This opens our dev tools and then we're going to click console. So this is what the error right here. So they cannot find the pearl pink jpeg so they're saying that pearl dash pink that jpeg is not available so let's check our swatch color so let's minimize this one so let's say swatch color and then what did we have for pearl pink so pearl pink is a jpeg so let's go back to our settings again to our file so we're going to go back to our online store and then click settings so let's check our files in here. So the pearl dash pink is a PNG. It's not a JPEG. So we're going to change our team editor. So go back to our team editor. Instead of a JPEG, we're going to change it to PNG. And then click save. Now it should fix the problem. You should have it. This one, this is a placeholder, but we have a black cow color in here. We already put it in here. So this is what I'm saying. Like it will not show that we have that since when we, when we open the console lab, let's just refresh this one. So refresh. So when we open our console lag, you will find that I have this console in here. Um, this is for images and this is for colors. So when we say colors, we have the black cow, right? So open the colors and let's look for black cow. So the black cow is one word. And when we go to our variants, it's a two word. So we're going to go back to our team settings and then add a dash in here. And then it should fix that. So click save. So here it shows um, the black cow color, but our blue and white doesn't have an image though. So we'll skip that one. And then we're going to go to iron gray. So what is wrong with iron gray? So let's find iron gray in our console. So iron gray, it's two words. So iron gray and then the gray dolphin is added to it. So there should be no semicolon. So we're going to fix that. We're going to go back to our team editor and then we'll fix this one to a comma and then click save. So everything is fixed right now. Since um this one, I leave it intentionally um, blank and I believe um, that's it. That's how you fix it. And then when we go back to our shirt, the one that we just added, we should have that options, um, color options. So see, we have um, colors right here. If you have a colors already in the color bank, it would use these colors to all of the products that are using the same template. So like here, I have this black. I already have my black color entered here for the image and it 
pitch that color and to apply to that variant. I believe that's it. And let me know if you have any question. Thank you so much for watching.